Mel from WSFA 12 News. This is Friday Night Football Fever. Sponsored by Guardian Credit Union, Jax, Brian Jewelry, The Vance Law Firm, and Greenville Automotive Group. Welcome back to the Friday Night Football Fever. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's the 32nd season of the Fever, and we are so happy to be here. Jamal Kennedy joining me again this year as my co-host. Hey, Jamal. Yeah, what's up, Rosie? Uh, it feels a little bit like the first day of school. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Of course. But I'm also <laughs> super pumped, and I'm really excited about this season. Fantastic game to kick off our season. Pike County and Charles Henderson, a non-Jamboree matchup for the first time since 1999. 99. All right, we're fired up. Six minutes into the game, Charles Henderson's Parker Adams. He finds Noah Green. That's number 12 on channel 12 for six and the first score of the night for his team. Now, let's go here to Juwan Boyd. This is the Troy commit, and watch this. He just refuses to go down, folks. This is a 30-yard pass that turns into a bigger play as he just barrels and just will not go down. A fifth effort to get into the end zone for another touchdown. Pike County makes it onto the scoreboard midway into the second quarter. Omari Barrow hands off to Dewani Williams, and Williams, speaking of power, powers his way through the line, and he's off to to the races. That's a 65 yard run to the end zone. It was Troy, it was uh, Charles Henderson at the half. Charles Henderson, they win it 48 to 7, Rosie. Woo, all right. The defending 3A champs in the St. James Trojans hosting Montgomery Academy, a battle of two new head coaches and Neil Posey and Ethan McBride. First quarter, quarterback KJ Jackson hands it off to senior running back Cole Anderson. And see ya, turn on the burners down the sideline. He goes for the first score of the season. For nice St. slide James. into the I end know, zone. Right? Woo. MA's first drive with Star. So the Trojans get the ball back deep in the backfield. Graham Martin sacks KJ oh. Jackson. Ball is loose though, and it's a scoop, scoop and, and score. Yes. Scoop and score. For Will Harden, Eagles tie the game. But listen, Jamal, the former Fever Athlete of the Year needed some redemption after that. He said respect to and him. here it is a dominant 37 yard run by the Arkansas commit. Touchdown nice Trojans. Dive. St. James wins 49 to 13, Jamal. That's how it's done. Number one for a reason, Rosie. Just mm -hmm. Under 10 miles separating Brantley and Laverne. If Brantley wins, that's three in a row, but they're trailing 15 nothing after the first quarter. Bulldogs ball here in the second. This is John Kilcrease, uh, the younger brother of Troy quarterback oh, Tucker yeah. Kilcrease to Dalen Davis. And that's good for six. Nice gritty there. Uh, it's 15 to seven after that one. Still the second quarter, and here comes Laverne. Ed Rigby brought the wishbone offense with him. Uh, this is Tavion Rainey, and he slides one to the house. 21-6, Tigers push the lead. Brantley facing fourth down here. Here comes Wyatt Cornett out of your, just out of the side of your TV screen Fine. there into the frame. He stops this play. Laverne snaps the streak. Wow. Tigers win this one by a score of 28-14. The Rosie. Ed Rigby effect. There the it is. is underway. All right, let's take you to Alexander City where the Benjamin Russell Wildcats took on the Wetumpka Indians. The Wildcats tonight playing for teammate Cade Sen who recently passed away in a car accident. Oh my goodness. After a muff kick return by the Indians, TJ Wilson powers his way through for an 11-yard touchdown run in 11 the second. Wildcats block the punt here. Yep. 
soon he will block there the punt. There it is. And Xavier <laughs> Patterson like will he was fall on, on it for the score and the team's second block punt of the night. All Wildcats quarterback Gabe Benton is going to escape trouble here and zip one to Malcolm Simpson for, for the touchdown here. There he goes. The Wildcats dominant in this one, winning 40 to 19. That breaks a six game losing streak to Wetumpka. The you know Smitty Grinder effect. There yes, we there go. go. And Rigby, Smitty <laughs> Grinder. You see how it is. BTW Tuskegee hosting Trinity tonight in Tuskegee. A Trinity ball in the first. Wildcats, they find the end zone on their first possession. Walker McClinton pitches to Ross Sanders. One to two for six. There we go. That's not really how math no. works. The Wildcats are up <laughs> seven nothing. After an onside kick, the Wildcats get it back. This time McClinton goes to the air. And he finds McClinton. That's not a typo. That's Walker to his brother Weber. And Weber is in the end zone. It's 13 nothing. Trinity, uh, the opening quarter closes. That says your field, our game. Yeah, Trinity is saying uh, this is your field, BTW Tuskegee, but this is our game. That is Elijah Hall's toss intercepted by Ross Sanders. Sanders with a touchdown on offense and a touchdown on defense. Might as well say goodbye to that one. 19 nothing after one. No word here on a final score. So be sure to call in those scores or submit them to the Fever Fans on Facebook group. All right, heading down to Baldwin County, the Foley Lions hosting the Prattville Lions. First quarter in this game, the senior running back Donovan Arrington gets the snap and check this out. Stiffy, Not one stiffy. stiff arm, two stiff arms, and this man is gone. No one in front of him. The deuce That's is loose. 60 yard run for him. They go for two and it's eight nothing. Later, Foley with the fake and some trickery. What does that remind you of? Oh, a little nice Philly little, special. Philly special, action. okay. Hey, right, Auburn <laughs> commit there. Perry Thompson, the wide receiver, hitting Cooper Hermes. As for the score, the score in the fourth quarter is 45 Foley, oh. 19 Prattville right now. All right, Opelika and Thompson facing off in the AHSAA kickoff classic here in Montgomery. A late first quarter, a third and 18, so it's third and forever for the Warriors. Trent Seaborn, the quarterback, drops back to pass. The ball is tipped and caught Ooh. into the hands of Colvin Landry. And guess what? He's got a first down to the second quarter now. Warriors up by three. Seaborn drops back to pass and finds a wide open deuce. Oliver, he wears number two for a reason. Deuce all the way down to the two yard line. He's pushed out. He would have scored if he wasn't. All right, Seaborn hands the ball off here to Arrington Green and Green finds the green. That's the money score there. 10 0 lead for Thompson. Uh, they're leading this one at last score 23 7 at the half. Yeah, that was an 8 p.m. kick tonight. All right, down at McGill Tulin, the Yellow Jackets. Wow. Wow, clearly excited there, hosting Montgomery Catholic. Oh, a, a sloppy snap from the Knights here, and the Yellow Jackets recover it, but nothing would come of that drive. For the Knights, though, all three touchdowns came from quarterback Caleb McCreary. Catholic wins 21-0 over a 6A school. Big win there. That's back-to-back -back wins for yes, Catholic over McGill Tulin. All right, don't go anywhere. Prevo Christian is looking to build on a successful season last year. And Highland Home makes a statement in their home opener. See that next.